for a very long time big pharma has been recklessly increasing the cost of drugs to earn more and more profits people kept dying but the profiteering venture did not stop but no matter how big the pile of sins is it has to crumble one day well mark cuban has started what can be termed as the beginning of the end of the big pharma lobby hi and welcome to tfi english the national socio political analysis arm of the tfi media group i am your host piyush and if you haven't subscribed to the tfi english channel yet hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the recent updates coming back to the story i am here to tell you about the latest whirlwind which is hampering the dominance of big pharma towards the end of january 2022 americans reeling under biden manufactured inflation were in for a pleasant surprise celebrated investor mark cuban made an announcement which infused hopes of survival in the life of millions of americans he established a company aimed at bringing low cost drugs to american homes recognizing that he is a brand himself cuban named the company the mark cuban cost plus drug company mcc pdc is a direct consumer online company which provides medicines at a cheap rates to americans up until now the company is in a nascent stage and offers only 100 generic medicines at an extremely discounted price on his website cuban is quoted as saying everyone should have safe affordable medicines with transparent prices medicines are one of the cheapest products found in nature if you are an individual roaming in the jungle a few leaves are good enough to make you healthy however the scenario changes when you shift to concrete jungles here the medicine availability depends on a much more complicated supply chain firstly the drug manufacturer companies prepare a particular drug and then the distributors come into action through various layers of agents the final cost of the drug sometimes increases to over 100 times higher than the manufacturing cost in america these middlemen coupled with big pharma have further exacerbated the pricing they are the ones who big pharmacies and drug manufacturers close up they decide how much a pharmacy will benefit from a particular drug they hold similar power with respect to drug manufacturers as well additionally these agents are the biggest catalyst in medical insurance companies deciding which drug and which pharmacy will be covered under the insurer's net just three of these agents known as cvs caremark express scripts and optum rx control over 80% of the us market it leads to extreme distortion in pricing if americans directly buy a 30 count of imatinib which is a chemo drug it costs only 17.10 dollars with a 15% profit to the seller if the same drug goes through the aforementioned process then it costs 2502.60 dollars Being the shrewd investor he is, Cuban dedicated his blood and soul to the company. He analyzed the intricacies of the industry and found that there is only one way in which Americans can get life-saving medicines at a lower price. There was only one realistic solution left. Cuban could not make it possible without eliminating these agents altogether. Cuban had his task cut out for him. He offered a cash-based alternative. MCC PDC buys drugs directly from the third party suppliers and sells them to the consumers with only 15% profit. Even this profit is only intended just to keep the company up and running. By the end of 2022, Cuban is also planning to launch his own manufacturing facility. Mark Cuban has a penchant for staggering investments. He is an active investor in Dallas Mavericks professional basketball team of the National Basketball Association. Besides that, he has also invested heavily in social software and distributed networking industries. These industries may work as a bedrock for breaking the jinx of big pharma. Now, the next thing is getting a dedicated team on board. Cuban has his goodwill in the startup world. He has worked immensely towards building low-cost products and encouraging entrepreneurship by virtue of being a shark investor in television series Shark Tank. That day, Cuban decides to expand his generic medicine business outside the USA. India will be the first choice. PM Modi's Jan Oshdi Kendra have helped save 13,000 crore rupees in India. Outside India we are the largest provider of generic medicine. In fact, 40% of the drugs in the US 
generic drugs industry are supplied by India. Indirectly, he is already using India's produce. It won't be a surprise if Cuban decides to mingle with Indian drug manufacturers in the future. Generic Indian drugs are already an eyesore for Big Pharma. Imagine the mayhem if both Cuban and Indian generic sector decides to collaborate.